And welcome back to episode 5 of my Skyblock Survival Challenge. The grass that I started growing this way is progressing slowly, and we have new snowfall. And I've been working the cobblestone generator. However, I just managed to do something that I do occasionally, and that is to have a badly aimed and badly timed strike in here and I managed to cut a hole down underneath the lava so it's flowing on through and the reaction that causes cobblestone has stopped so it's time to have a look down below and see what's going on because there's no lava spilling out here which means it is spilling out down below there it is okay I think this would be a good time to go ahead and take advantage of that lava spill I happen to have a handy dandy water bucket right here. And I'm going to spill water right next to it. Okay. I honestly expected that. Alright, let's try blocking and then quickly dropping lava or water on the lava. That has not gotten us any new cobblestone down there. I would have expected that it would. Okay, well, still, we have a lava mess to clean up. And I'm going to do the best I can to contain it, and I'm still going to try to capitalize on this. strike right here. See if we can get it flowing straight down. Yes. Okay. Let that go for a bit. And then I will plug the hole, which is causing the problem. And as the lava falls down there, I will drop water into that where it's falling down and see if we can get that to create some more vertical expansion. Maybe we've got something here now. Uh, it doesn't look so good. Which means if I want to do this again, I'm going to have to just do it the way I did it the first time. In the meantime... Actually, go ahead and leave that. All right. Looks like a 
torch was lost, so I'll replace one. I'll go ahead and leave that for the time being. And go back to getting the cobblestone generator working. Okay, we're working again now that the thing is plugged. All right. Minor situation averted. And I am now going to go back to working the cobblestone generator because I have need of a lot of it. We'll catch up with you in a bit. All right. It has been, I think, about three hours of real time. And I've been playing the tender and maintainer here harvesting everything when it's ready although I did stop harvesting the melons because I've got more of that than I'm going to use in a long time in fact it's growing faster than I can use it uh, I have reached where I've got over two stacks of logs over a stack of cactus over a stack of sugarcane about a half a stack of wheat and some seeds and let's see I've also uh, this roof here I decided to remove the torches with floating half blocks above them and instead I just paved the roof with half blocks and then I came underneath of it here and removed the cobblestone that the half blocks was sitting on and expanded that out a little bit more this roof over here the big one I'm going to remove the cobblestone that the half blocks are sitting on and that will have the effect of raising that roof up a block and since at the height it's at now I've already had a couple of mega trees you know the big ones with the branches and I figure moving that up a block will increase the chances of having that happen which will increase the wood supply and that's good uh, I've been thinking very seriously here I think that what I'm going to do is I've got five melon plants going here and I think what I'm going to do is remove two of them and then these four blocks will go into wheat production I'll still have three working melon plants and that will be enough I think and that will get me wheat production coming in a little faster okay I'll have to go get some more seeds for that still have those three plants here which I'm sure will provide more melon than I could possibly need provide it a lot faster than I use it as it is I've got five stacks of melon uh, let's see I've got 35 pumpkins I've probably got two dozen jack-o-lanterns scattered around the place and it's occurred to me to have a look at the challenge requirements here and let's see the first one is build a cobblestone generator no problem done build a house I'm planning that and it'll happen soon expand the island that's ongoing melon farm check that's done pumpkin farm check that's done wheat farm done and just expanded it giant red mushroom not until I get a a uh, hostile mob farm going to get more bones build a bed I will when I'm ready to make 40 stone brick well I think I can do that right now because I've been cooking up some cobblestone into smooth stone yes I have four stacks of smooth stone so let's go ahead and make some stone brick
There, I got four stacks of stone brick. Okay, so that one's taken care of. Make at least 20 torches. Not a problem. <laughs> Done. Infinite water source. Done. Build a furnace. Done. Make a small lake. Uh, that will require a little more expansion. I'll probably put it in the backyard of my house. Uh, make a platform 24 blocks away from the island for mobs to spawn. Uh, I've got one in progress for passive mobs, and I'm going to build one for hostiles. So that's in progress. Ten cactus green dye. Well, cactus green dye. Okay. I'll take a stack of cactus. Drop that in the furnace. Green dye on the way. Ten mushrooms too. Ten jack-o'-lanterns. That's done. Built ten bookcases. Hmm. I wonder if I have enough material to make ten bookcases. We'll find out. Okay, here's the paper. I ended up with some sugar out of that, too. Oh, well. Okay, the... Yeah. Okay, I have 32 books. And you need some planks, if I recall correctly. never really made a whole lot of bookcases. I could have sworn that was the recipe for a bookcase. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. I actually have to look that one up. All right, I'm back, and it turns out that I had the right idea, but it was backwards. That's the bookcase. Okay, I'm going to need a little more material, but I've got seven of them already, so drop those in here. Still need some more sugar cane to make a few more books, and that'll take care of that. Alright, I have, okay, ten cactus green dye. I've got 26 of them now. Let it go ahead and finish what that block of coal will do. And that'll be the end of that. Okay. Make ten bread. Let's see if I've got enough to make ten bread. I think maybe I do. There. Ten bread. That objective is complete. Okay. That's about the status of where I'm at on completing objectives. And I think now I'm going to load up on some cobblestone here. And get the area built where the passive mob spawn is going to be. Four sugar. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to make a cake sometime. That will depend on the passive mobs. Okay. Dirt needs to be moved on. I'm going to deal with that later. Frankly, to put it bluntly, I'm tired of sitting around here waiting for stuff to happen, so I'm going to do something. Now, 
what I figure I'm going to do for passive mob spawning is that including these four blocks of dirt I've got 32 dirt to work with so what I'm going to do is arrange them on this platform in a square 8 by 8 I will then fence around it I will also probably arrange some kind of uh, pens or stalls or a barn or something or other to allow me to separate the individual critters into their own groups and make a whole bunch of well, grow a whole bunch of wheat and commence the animal breeding. Oh, I don't even know if this is big enough for here. Actually, I'm sure it isn't right now. I'll just have to expand it a little bit at a time here. Let's just move this on in. I came a little farther to the side than I had actually intended. But that's alright. I'll end up using the space anyway. fill in when I need it. This that I am going to need, I will go ahead and fill in now. Snowing, and that's going to make putting up lighting a little more difficult, so I'll just run over here and get some jack-o'-lanterns. Say what you like about how they look, and frankly, I agree, they shouldn't have faces, but... They are snowproof lighting. And fairly bright at that. Oh crap, I just saw a creeper. Did you just see a creeper over there? I ended up walking off the edge. I could have sworn I saw a creeper. ourselves with niceties another time. Right now, let's make sure that 
creeper and friends do not visit again. Maybe I was imagining things, but I could have sworn I saw a creeper coming. Let's see. Well, pop another one of these down. He was coming from this area, headed that way, and just went sailing off the edge. Now, maybe I was just seeing things, but that sure is what it looked like. In any event, there's enough light out here now that that won't happen again. Alright, now, let's finish up the floor here and expand it that way. Actually, this place just might just be big enough for an 8x8 area. I'm going to give it uh, two more rows out this way, just to be sure. this filled in and build up a safety wall around here. And then I think I'm going to make a bunch of fence. Let's move the dirt another spot forward. And now while that proceeds to grow, go ahead and make some fence. for a little bit more. Oh hell, just make it all up. Uh, 
Okay, probably more than I need, but I'd rather have extra. Okay. Let's move you up onto the wall. Pop another one over here. Now we need the rest of that dirt, which I should have thought of while I was over here. There's my 8 by 8 Make sure I've got enough to actually fill it in. Huh. Well, so much for my ideas of 8 by 8 We'll just make the largest rectangular area we can fill in. And the last four dirt will end up filling this spot. And uh, huh, that's these guys. Just do it this way. Okay, now I'm going to arrange for some fencing around this area. And this is where it comes in handy. That I have made more than I need. As I've heard rumors, one thing, that these passive bombs occasionally get to jumping two blocks high. And so I'm going to make my fence tall enough to allow for that, even if it isn't necessary. admit though I think it would be nice if I could have an actual one more whole stack of dirt okay, I'll be making more fence but you get the idea here it's going to come all the way around. And then... What I'll end up doing is building some kind of pens or stalls or something over this way. And... what the... Huh. 
Okay. Uh, some kind of pens or stalls over here to sort the individual different breeds of animal into. And in there, the breeding will happen. Granted, this is all assuming that they will grow, or that they will actually spawn, but I figure in the amount of time it takes that grass to grow to there and spread throughout the whole thing, we'll have a chance to find out. And in the meanwhile, I'll be generating more cobblestone growing more sugar cane and once I have enough sugar cane to make my uh, no I have made my book goal I don't need the sugar cane that much anymore I've made my ten books bookcases no I've made seven bookcases okay yeah don't mind me I'll get my head straight one of these days enough. Okay. Bookcase challenge met. All right. Good deal. And now given that I'm not going to take the reed farm down completely because, I don't know, it feels like it should still exist even if it's only producing one plant. But what I am going to do is take these two dirt blocks and take them over here. Use them in this. Yeah. And I may see if I can't squeeze at least one more off of something over here. Like, for example, that one that isn't doing anything but holding a torch. Cobblestone can do that. This area will have just a little bit more dirt to work with. And I'll expand the fence to come out here and go over this way. And I'll get some torches planted onto it and so on. It's almost there. This area is not covered yet. Well, I 
guess what I'll do I'll just do that all the way around for the time being. Not sure I'm thrilled with how it looks, but it'll work. And right now, that it works is more important. Alright, I'm going to make up some more fence and babysit this dirt into here. And I think at this point, catch up with you in the next episode for a new update in a day or two. Take it easy, I'm out of here.